Thank you for calling Bright Smile Dental. This is Mary. How can I help you today? Hey, can I book an appointment? I'd be happy to help you book an appointment. To get started, could you tell me if you're a new or existing patient? I am a new patient. Now, could you tell me what date and time would work best for your cleaning appointment? Please keep in mind that we have availability Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, can we do Monday at 9 a.m.? Let me check the availability for next Monday at 9 a.m. I apologize, but the 9 a.m. slot you requested is not available. However, we do have an available slot on Monday, November 25th from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Would you like to book this time instead? Yeah, let, let's do that. 9.30 is fine. Booking your new patient cleaning appointment? Excellent. I've successfully booked your appointment. Here are the details. Date, Monday, November 25th. Time, 9.30 a.m. Type, new patient cleaning name, John Doe. You'll receive a confirmation email at ibrahim at shadow-ai.co. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, that's all. Thanks. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up appointment booking and the Google Calendar integration with your AI caller or your AI phone agents. And the method I'm going to be showing you in this video is probably the best one out there right now and probably the easiest one to go ahead and implement. And before I explain why, I have to go into some of the methods that most people are using right now, which are these first two methods I have right over here. We're using no-code, low-code platforms like Zapier or Make, or they will go the custom-coded route, which is a little bit uh, less used, but still an option for uh, people with more technical knowledge. But with the first route, this still takes a good amount of work. You have to have some knowledge of how these platforms work. You have to understand the uh, appointment booking flow and the little different nuances that come within, you know, integrating with these calendar systems. Um, and that can take a couple of hours, a couple of days, depending on uh, how experienced you are. But for the second uh, sort of approach, the custom coded approach, you're going to have more flexibility, more control over how the appointment booking process and integration kind of works. But obviously that requires a lot more technical knowledge. You're going to have to actually uh, work with the Google Calendar API um, and deploy it on you know, a cloud provider using a service like AWS Lambda, have some knowledge of a language like JavaScript using Node.js, and obviously that can take some time, up to several days, several weeks, maybe even a month, uh, depending on how complex that appointment booking flow is. Now my method that I'm going to show you guys in this video is using Retail AI and Cal.com. So Retail, just a little bit of an intro on that platform. It's a platform where you can create AI voice agents, AI phone agents, AI callers, whatever you want to call them. Very similar to Vapi or Bland or some of these other platforms that you might have messed with. Um, and uh, the great thing about Retail is that it has this native integration with Cal.com, and Cal.com itself supports a lot of different calendars uh, and a lot of different platforms. So Google Calendar is one of them, Outlook Calendar, Zoho Calendar. Um, you see all of those different platforms on that image right over there. Uh, it supports a good amount of uh, different calendars, and um, they also do a lot of the heavy lifting with this native integration built right into retail. So typically you're going to have to, you know, capture the time and date that someone wants to book an appointment for and somehow turn that into a date time. All that requires some logic for you to kind of map out or code up, right? But the great thing about retail and the cal.com integration is that they pretty much do that for you automatically and they also handle the, the, the logic to suggest alternate slots whenever your desired slot is not found to be available. They have also booking confirmation as, as soon as you book the appointment right to your email and again like I said you can integrate with a lot of different calendars and platforms out there. Um, so this is 
kind of the, the power of native integrations that they make it super easy for you. And you can pretty much set, set all of this up in a couple of minutes versus hours, days, weeks with the other approaches. So to get started, you want to have a retail account, uh, just quickly create one and you should land on this homepage and you can start with creating your, your agent. They have a couple different options. I'm going to go with single prompt agent, which I already have set up. And from here, it's uh, pretty similar to how you would typically create an agent. You have a general prompt, you have a first message, and then some other settings that you can kind of play with. You have the LLM, the voice, the language, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, demoing and showing you guys an example of a dental receptionist and how to book appointments through Google Calendar with that use case. So I have a pretty, a pretty basic sort of prompt. So how to respond, how to handle objections, challenges, um, how to schedule. Um, so this is all basic stuff. Whatever prompt that you kind of have uh, uh, should work as long as you know you pretty much go over how to book the appointment, how to schedule appointments. Just make sure that we will be implementing two different functions for the a calendar integration, one of them being check availability and the other one being book appointment. So you might want to include something in your prompt about uh, what these functions do. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory what check availability, what book appointment does, but nothing too crazy, a pretty small task sec section that I have in this system prompt. And then just the patient information that I want to collect, what type of appointments that we support, and then just some extra guidelines. But again, this doesn't have to be, you know, super detailed, whatever you have uh, for your appointment booking workflow should work just fine. Um, this is very flexible. The only thing that you want to pay attention to is this part right over here. The time currently is current time. This is a dynamic variable inside of retail. And at the time of the actual uh, call, uh, retail will replace this right over here with the actual time and date of the call. So something like, you know, Friday, uh, January 5th, and then the actual time. Typically, I believe it's West Coast time. And uh, just have this somewhere here, wherever in your prompt, just so the assistant, the agent has context on what the time is. So if someone says, hey, I want to book an appointment uh, next Thursday at 10 a.m., it knows exactly what date next Thursday is if it has that context, right? So just put that somewhere in the prompt, uh, preferably in the beginning or the end. And then also you want to make sure that wherever you specify something like office hours or referencing time, you just want to no uh, note down what uh, time zone that you're actually in. So here, uh, this office, dental office is supposed to be in the East Coast US time. So I put that down, hey, their office hours are 8, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and they're in East Coast US time. Also have that down here. Just to give it context, hey, we're going to be booking in the East Coast time. That's where the office is located, just so it knows um, a little bit about that. Now the next step uh, that you want to kind of do is uh, make sure you're on cal.com, set up an account if you don't already, uh, you want to create a new event inside of cal.com to pretty much represent what you're trying to do, right? So I'm trying to do uh, a dental office and they're trying to book appointments. So I would just say, hey, this is the uh, dental practice calendar and this would be used to book appointment events. Um, it can be from for, for different types of appointments, cleanings, fillings, that sort of stuff. Uh, so go ahead, just hit new in the main page of cal.com give it a title, um, it should automatically fill this out and then you can give it a description, a time. Um, so I'll actually go ahead and just create one real quickly, uh, put a duration, hit continue. And here uh, you can go ahead and customize it even more, give it an actual availability um, and go through the entire step of uh, what this uh, sort of event, these appointments are supposed to be configured. You can have buffer times, you can go ahead and also connect it to your Google Calendar uh, right over here. Um, there should be 
uh, a pretty easy way to, to kind of connect that or whatever calendar system that you're using that as long as it's uh, supported by cal.com. So once you have the actual event set up, there's two things that you want to have copied uh, so you can integrate it with retail and that's going to be uh, your event ID. So you're going to click on your meeting and if you go up to your URL on your browser, uh, there should be a URL saying app.cal.com slash event slash type, something like that. And then you should have a, a sequence of numbers, maybe like six to eight numbers copy those numbers. I'll put a, a picture on the video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you want to copy that, that those numbers. Those are going to be your event ID. And then back on your homepage, you want to go ahead and click on settings. And then on settings, you want to go ahead and click on API keys on the left hand side. Uh, this should bring up this page where you can go ahead, create a new API key, give it a name, uh, you can give it a, a expiration date. Once you hit save, you should be able to copy an API key. Just keep that save so we can use that inside of retail. Now back inside of the retail agent, what we're going to do is uh, pretty much connect cal.com and retail using the functions um, or create those check availability book appointment functions so it can check the availability on the calendar and then actually create the event, create the meeting or appointment uh, what you're trying to do. So go ahead, click functions, and you want to create two functions. You can go ahead, create, or click on add right over here. So you can hit check calendar availability. And once you hit that uh, button to create, create the new tool to check the calendar availability, you can give it a name just like I have, give it a description. So the LLM, the agent knows when to uh, use this tool, uh, what it's for, uh, so I've given it a pretty short description. Always want to kind of keep it short, concise, um, not too long. So I just said this tool is used to check the calendar and provide availability or available slots once the caller has given their preferred date and time for the appointment. Um, so that something like that should uh, be enough. You want to go ahead and put the API key that you copied right over here and then the event type ID right over here. and then also the time zone that you're going to be uh, operating out of. So I am in the East Coast time zone. So I just put America slash uh, new underscore York. So just like that. And then go ahead and um, you can save or update that, that tool. Now for the book appointment tool, uh, pretty similar process. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, on book on the calendar. Now once you're over there, you're just going to give it again uh, a name for the tool, uh, again a, a, a description for how to use this tool, what it's for. I put down this tool is used to book an appointment on the calendar uh, once an available date and time slot has been confirmed. I mean, that's pretty much it. Again, just put down your API key, event type ID that we copied over from cal.com, and also the time zone that you're going to be working out of, and then save or update that again. And then from there, you can go ahead and actually test out the agent. Um, also debug it right over here on this right hand side. Click test, which is what I'm going to do right now. Thank you for calling Bright Smile Dental. This is Mary. How can I help you today? Hey, can I book an appointment? I'd be happy to help you book an appointment. To get started, could you tell me if you're a new or existing patient? I am a new patient. Great. Welcome to our practice. I'll help you schedule your first appointment. Could you please provide me with your full name? Yeah, uh, full name is John Doe. Thank you, John. I appreciate you providing your name. Could you please share your phone number so we can contact you about your appointment? Yeah, phone number is 123-456-7890. Uh, Thank you, John. And what is the email address you'd like to use for appointment confirmations and communications? Yeah, uh, email, you can use ibrahim at shadow-ai.co. Thank you, John. Now, could you tell me what type of appointment you're looking to schedule? We offer several options like routine cleaning, dental checkup, new patient consultation, 
teeth whitening, filling, root canal, or emergency dental care. Yeah, um, let's do a cleaning. Great choice. A routine cleaning is an excellent way to start your dental care with us. Now, could you tell me what date and time would work best for your cleaning appointment? Please keep in mind that we have availability Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, can we do Monday at 9 a.m.? Let me check the availability for next Monday at 9 a.m. I apologize, but the 9 a.m. slot you requested is not available. However, we do have an available slot on Monday, November 25th from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Would you like to book this time instead? Yeah, let, let's do that. 9.30 is fine. Booking your new patient cleaning appointment? Excellent. I've successfully booked your appointment. Here are the details. Date, Monday, November 25th. Time, 9.30 a.m. Type, new patient cleaning name, John Doe. You'll receive a confirmation email at ibrahim at shadow-ai.co. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, that's all. Thanks. So that is it on uh, covering uh, integrations with uh, calendars like Google Calendar using retail and cal.com. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you'd like me to, to kind of build out an actual dental phone agent or a medical phone agent, that actually integrates with the calendars and um, you know softwares that those practices use. Uh, feel free to to reach out at the email or link below in the description. Uh, more than happy to kind of do that. Besides that, thanks for watching.